Look, the other stories that got me going this weekend are part of a wider trend in our mainstream media, which I have to say I'm increasingly becoming convinced has been kind of colonised by activists, particularly female activists, who have a certain view view of the world. Um, an amazing piece published this uh, weekend about incels. Now, incel is a kind of feminist term, and it's, an, it's a created group of people who supposedly are young men who, for no lack of trying, do not have intimate relationships with women. And you would say someone who's having difficulty getting a girlfriend. I think we've all been there, guys, you know. But incels are now being demonised by the liberal left and the feminists as possibly terrorists. It is the most ridiculous and strange piece of logic I have uh, ever seen. But um, a woman called Katie Harris, writing, I think, in the Herald or stuff, I must check that out. Can you check that out for me? Um, has written a piece saying New Zealand Security Intelligence Service investigated threat by, posed by incels and voluntary celibate men. New Ze and I'll just read the opening of this article. New Zealand's intelligence agency has investigated the threat involuntary celibate men posed to Aotearoa, of course it's Aotearoa, including the likelihood of committing violent extremism in Aotearoa, oh, the, the Herald on Sunday, can reveal, or can reveal, oh, it's a huge exclusive. The group are known as incels and are largely heterosexual men fixated on their lack of sexual and romantic success with women. I cannot believe the Herald on Sunday published this dodge. The misogynistic belief system rose to prominence in recent years following several vicious attacks, attacks that left dozens dead in North America and Canada. Other countries, not Aotearoa, New Zealand. Uh, new information released to the Herald on, on Sunday under the Official Information Act from the New Zealand Security Intelligence Service, reveals, wait for it, a report was completed on the ideology and the threat level those who subscribe to it pose to New Zealand. I do not know anyone, and this article indeed does not identify any individual in New Zealand who they can prove subscribes to this so-called philosophy. Security manager Rebecca Kitteridge confirmed to the Herald on Sunday individuals have been investigated by the SIS, but that did not necessarily mean the investigations were commenced because of incel ideology. So you start the story and then you shoot it down, where the officials say, well, kind of, but not really. Kind of, but not really. Um, and look, the story just goes on that despite the evidence that incels are not an organised group in New Zealand, if indeed they're a group at all. It just goes on to tell you you should be afraid that they are. It is a terribly written piece of fear-mongering journalism. And then they go on and they look at some people in other countries who have done very bad things and might fit into the definition of being incels. I imagine, actually, on the definition as it is, Brenton Tarrant would be an incel. I imagine David Gray would have been an incel. And those might be worthy of examination. Um, but these people overseas have nothing to do uh, with New Zealand. And as you have no evidence, uh, Katie Harris, as you know, have no evidence of an organised incel culture in New Zealand, I really don't know what you're going on about. They do have a Victoria University of Wellington PhD candidate, so in other words, a student, called Angus Lindsay, that goes on in the article to wring his hands and clutch his pearls endlessly about incels. But any real evidence, anything you could hang your hat on and say the story is valid, nothing, nada, zip, zero. But just another example of the demonisation of men.
that is occurring in our mainstream ma- media. Fundamentally, there's no data available on so-called incels. So the whole story, a straw man that in its own, by its own admission, is knocked down by the Herald on Sunday. Just another example of how much misinformation, or di- and I'm working towards something here, folks, don't worry, or disinformation we are facing. 